Mr. Truck here with another exciting review. This is a, a 2018 Lincoln Navigator. It's the one that has that engine out of the Raptor. And how much power does it have? This is my cousin Chuck. How much power does this engine have? This is 406. 450 horsepower with 510 pound feet of torque. Good job! <laughs> that is the engine that's in the Raptor. Now, this one doesn't pull you back in the seat like a Raptor does, but you can tell it's got power. It's a 373 we're in, so it's really good for trailers. I think trailer towing is 8,400 pounds. We're towing a small trailer here because it's snowing. We're trying to be in control and be safe. But we're up here in the Rockies heading toward Estes. We just went through Loveland and a whole bunch of dirt roads, and so we got lost, and so the truck is dirty, but we can't help that. But this is too cool. We're up here in the snowy mountains. We've got a six inches of snow, and it looks awesome. So come join us for the review. inside this Lincoln Navigator it is so cool you got a 12-inch screen now they say it's 12 inch but I don't think it is I think it's just the middle part might be 10 but if they would run this all the way out you had a 12-inch screen but that's cool and that's what the uh, the little videos on the back of the seats in the middle row have about 12 inch screens but this thing of course is loaded loaded but I love the way the layout is on this thing it's got all this digital stuff and you can do everything and that's in the center stack and in the dash area. But this one, you know, it's kind of like a semi where it has all these controls up here. And my cousin stopped playing with things. Anyway, this is so cool. It's like a semi where you actually have all your controls in the middle and in the front and all over the place. You know, the semis have a wraparound dash that shows you your, your air pressure and, and all the different controls you need for the truck and the trailer and real gauges. This one is really neat where it's so close to right here in the middle console. It's got like two armrests and a big deep console. I'll show you the modes here in a little bit. Cup holders and a place to charge your phone down there and USB ports. But this is so convenient. This is so close to where your arms naturally go. You can reach all these controls better than most vehicles I've been in. I like that. But this has, you know, of course everything's digital. It's got the heads up display. I don't know if you can see it in there, but I love the heads up display. Now this one, I got a set where it shows you the clock, the outside temperature is 25 degrees, what gear it's in, and uh, the mile per hour, and then how many mile range you have left, and then it actually shows you your blinkers. The blinker will show up or not, but it is so cool. But that's a lot of stuff that I need. And it has so many automatic systems, windshield wipers, the headlights, it's got that running board that pulls out when you even go near the vehicle. And you raise your foot under the, tail, the tailgate and it goes up. But also, what's really cool is drive mode. Now down here, in the center console, you have a parking brake button. It's electric brake, electric parking brake. And this is where you shut off the automatic uh, disconnect on the engine. Um, and then you have the, the uh, part over here, which is where you can let the truck park itself. Auto hold, I've got to find out what that does. But yeah, this is uh, shuts off that... Uh, disconnect on the engine so it doesn't drive you nuts when it keeps shutting off but the drove mode drive mode is cool now Chuck if you want to run that mode I'll show the center console there's a roll back to your left and that says normal roll back to your left one more time and that shows normal four drive auto one more time it's slippery that's pretty cool use that on the ice and snow today and then this is deep snow or mud see if it goes one more time that's uh, deep snow, but I guess that's it. And go all the way to the other direction. 
and it keeps going. That slipper I use quite a bit, normal four wheel, and it's just normal. And here's conserve right there, hold it there. That's for getting a little better fuel mileage. Excite, excite, responsive and engaging. That must be fast. Slippery, I use that quite a bit. Uh, it's deep snow and mud. And here you got slow climb, see off roading. And because there it says for four wheel drive low, you've got to shift to. To neutral now there's this responsive one I want to get to if I can find it it is really cool where is it I want to find the responsive Did you see me waving it? conserve excite there you go responsive so you got two of them right there in a row that's so cool excite we gotta try that exciting thing I want to get excited oh that mile per gallon, it shows you your digital part, what you're getting currently. And then uh, when you're driving down there, the mile per hour, that little needle there actually follows the mile per hour around. It shows you digitally exactly how fast you're going, which is nice, which I also have my heads up display. But the seats are amazing on this thing. If you look over here in the door, which is a good place to put them, you've got, I think it's six different individual ways of moving your seat up toward the front. Uh, it shows left and right. That's actually your bolsters or your, your front of your seat moves up and down to give you thigh support, which is awesome. And this has got, uh, you know, I don't know how many speakers. I'll read off all this stuff because it has more things on it than I can even remember. But uh, you've got cameras up front, cameras in the back. Here's this camera button so you can see what's going on. And you can go up here and make it just one picture. And that's the front camera. And then you can zoom it to 360 and then you can actually in reverse of course it shows you the backup but it is cool and it's got push button gears which takes me a while to get used to you keep thinking you're looking for a shift or something and then uh, after you get it in drive then you go up here and you got paddle shifters which is really cool I get a kick out of them of course it says front and rear windshield wipers and intermittent and automatic and yeah heads up display you got several options there now this also at night uh, it actually will run up um, and put uh, the symbol of the Lincoln on the floor for the puddle lamp and then your your Lincoln emblem on the hood uh, on the nose I mean on the grill it actually lights up so it's got so many automatic things and I love this center console it's got a place underneath it to put things same way at the back console, and the back has, of course, heat and air, air conditioning seats like we do up front. But uh, you got seat belts for seven. You got a third row, and those seats all lay down automatically in the back. You got button push buttons, and this center row is a little tricky because it's actually made to fold forward with the car seat in it. So you don't have to take the car seat out, and it slides forward. You've had a little bit of trouble with that second row for how things fit. Now let me see, let me go outside here and with the lights off so that I can show you the seat. Now this seat, it's kind of like the Lincoln cars. You've got all these extra pieces that move. These move forward and back and up and down. And then you get, of course, got the main seat. you got this section, another section, and then the headrest. Those are all push buttons. You can adjust them all. Really find the contour of your body. Which is so cool, but look underneath the console in the front, you got enough room 45 or whatever you want to hide down there. But uh, yeah, it's got so much cool storage. Of course, power tilt and telescope and controls that would take forever to explain them all. Plus, this super awesome moonroof. You can open the front part. We just got through filming some bighorn sheep, and you can see all those guys way up on the mountain with this moonroof. It's a great thing to drive in the mountains. We're pulling a smaller trailer. The uh, I was going to pull the big trader, the tilt trader, because this is actually equipped to tow 8,400 pounds, but couldn't get the old high boy, the 71 Ford 250 high boy, started in the cold. The choke was stuck, and so, and it was pretty slippery out, so we decided not to go to the big trader with the small trader. So we're under 3,000 pounds with this Pioneer 500 in that trailer on there. What the power is that? It's a good idea. I want to see how those things move. Okay, that was moving ahead and back, and then the other one moves. They roll out. You doing the other one now, the left one? Oh yeah, isn't that cool? That gives you this tremendous thigh support, which is good for a big boy like me. I like to have that. And of course, we got massaging seats. We'll play with that on the way back, but I love the massaging seats. 
and this has this trader backup control which is what uh, the 150s have we showed that several times so you can actually back up with the knob and this brake controller on this is right there right next to my steering wheel I love this great place to have that so you can grab the manual control sorry this navigator with the 3.5 twin turbo Raptor engine V6 is rated at 16 in the city, 18 miles per gallon highway, and 21 combined, which is pretty good for a big boat like this thing. This weighs, I think I've got the, the uh, it's over 7,000 pounds curb weight. And this is uh, 22 inch tires, and of course, this aluminum body, so it's lighter than it would have been beforehand. Four wheel independent suspension, it's got a 23 and a half gallon fuel tank. Uh, first gear is way down there. This is that 10 speed. First gear is a 4.7. So you're really down there. And it will tow this truck is rated 8,400 pounds. And this is the black label one. The black label one is, is uh, <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's mostly about free maintenance and car washes for the sea. The first uh, four year 5,000 mile warranty. Then you have four year 5,000 pickup delivery and four year 5,000 premium maintenance. That's all part of that black label. And then you got on the powertrain, which is the engine and the drivetrain, transmission, all is six year 70,000 miles, which is really good. So, yeah. This is awesome. Black Label Edition. But uh, I don't know if I can remember all the things that come with this, but these power illuminating rain boards are awesome. They will just take off with you before you even get near it, the car. It will pop down. And you can run your foot underneath the rear deck, and that opens that up. Of course, it has trailer sway control. And let's see. It's got, uh, well, it says a 10-inch center stack screen. I think if they would have went corner to corner would have been 12 inch but that's what they call it the center stacks 10 inch uh it's got four 12 volt charging ports uh let's see instrument cluster says it's 12 inch look every instrument cluster that must be the one in the center that's a 12 inch screen of course heated steering wheel dynamics di di dynamica suede cloth headliner whatever that is and heated steering wheel of course panoramics vista sunroof uh, it's got special floor mats. It's got Venetian leather seating, all three rows. And let's see, 20 speakers. Wow, it's like a rap, rapper's head Green. paradise in here. <laughs> Active Green. noise control. That says do it to making that, uh, that uh, little V6 sound like a V8. Adaptive suspension. We can tell that. It really rides smooth. If you hit some expansion joints, you can feel it. It feels more like a half ton at those, those times. It's got remote start. Uh... I hear another mouse. Somebody else is playing with the vehicle. It's got this really cool. Where's the? Uh, no, yeah, hit the uh, school bus mirror. That's pretty cool. And then let's see. It's got the wiper de-icers. Actually, warms up the windshield wipers. That's really cool for today. And it's got the wireless charging pad, which is for the phones, which is awesome. It's got four diverse sensing, inclination sensor. I guess if you're, if you're going straight down, it tells you. Tire pressure, of course, monitoring the system. It's individual. It's not just telling you got a low tire. It tells you which one, which is good. And it's got the SOS post-crash system. Side impact protection. That's how these, these newer vehicles are. You have to work hard to ever get in a crash because they are trying like crazy to keep you out of an accident, which is good. And this one's not rated on the crash test. That's kind of odd. Payload is 1476 so you got to use a lot of that for your, uh, your, your tongue weight of your trailer, and you have a little bit left over for some passengers. Okay. Controls. You can play with all your stuff, and somebody just turned it down. But yeah, we're watching Bronco game or listening to it. That's so cool. You got a whole radio control in the back. Awesome. Another thing cool is when you have this, in whatever mode it is, it shows trailer info. It shows you, besides the gain, it will also show you your transmission temperature, which is pretty cool. Because you already have, down here at the bottom, the uh, radiator temperature. But that's pretty cool. Whatever mode this is in it has to do with trailers. I was trying to figure out if I had tow haul mode on. I think it came on automatically, but I don't know if it's when your trailer plugs in because I 
again yet. We don't get it back on again, but it did come on and it came on by itself. So that'd be interesting if the stall mode feels you lugging or something going on or detects the trailer to come on. I've got to find out because I don't know, know whether it's an automatic tow haul mode or what's going on. But anyway, I will do some more research. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts.